welcome to my YouTube channel. So what we are going to be reviewing today is this RCA portable washing mas machine, sorry. So as you can see here, the logo RCA is right here. And um, we're gonna be reviewing this machine. We're gonna see how effective it works, how clean the clothes come out, smell and everything like that. So we're gonna be reviewing it. This is basically how it looks. Now guys, it is, it is a little bit bigger than the other portable panda washer I had. I believe the other one I had was like 0.9 cubic feet. This one's pretty large inside, so I'm just giving you guys a view of it. I can see my dirty underwear there. Um, and these are the controls here, the function and everything. And of course, most importantly, this is the energy saver. So that's what you'd be paying per month, um, you know, if you were to use this product. So yeah, I'm going to show you guys the basic hookup. This is it. You know, you would have to get the appropriate functions, see what kind of sink you have and make sure it does work. A very, very important crucial part of this is also using a stopper. This is going to prevent leaks in your sink. You know, if you try to do the handy dandy way of it and just trying to open up the faucet and everything, um, you don't need a plumber. You don't need to be a plumber to do that. But of course, you do want to make sure you're doing everything right. So the stopper there is very, very important. Please don't forget that, guys, because if you forget that, you're going to cause a flood. You know, you're it's just not going to be a good scene. So please make sure you know how to actually remove the functions of your sink um, in terms of the screw and everything. And, you know, you should be good to go. So basically it comes with this. This is your water hose. This is your electric current right here I'm showing you guys. And of course, this is the little compartment that you have to place into your sink. So check out the size of your own. You know, you may have to buy female or male adapters that can be used for this. Um, I didn't have to buy it because my sink was literally the perfect fit. So that was awesome. And then of course we have our drainage hose. Um, I like to particularly just leave this in the toilet because of course, if it's washing out all the dirt and bacteria that I've worn on my clothes, I won't, don't want that to spread to the bathroom and the, you know, the bathtub where I take my shower, you know, and all of that, that wouldn't be sanitary for me. So definitely it can go somewhere where waste goes into like pee and things like that. So this is the only appropriate spot while using the portable washer to have the drainage hose go into. I would not recommend doing, leaving that hose in your bathtub because bacteria spreads and you have to basically wash your bathtub all over again if you plan on doing that. So I basically have this in the toilet because it's a small area. I know bacteria is not gonna go left, right, and center and everywhere in my bathroom. So it's just direct and easy. And after all the drainage comes out, I can just flush the toilet. So I'll be showing you guys the different parts of how this machine works here. This is what we have. It's the RCA and it's a 2.1 cubic feet. So that basically means the insides of the actual machine is wider, it's bigger, and it's just like you're washing out a regular laundromat. It is, you know, effective as well. It cleans out the clothes really good, gets all the dirt out. So basically the first step you do want to go ahead and do is put your dirty clothes in. And now we're going to add the detergent. So I'm going to show you guys that. So guys, I went ahead and added my laundry pods. I love to use essentials from Grove. So they have these laundry detergent packs made of lavender and rosemary, which is so good and so healthy overall. There's no harsh chemicals and it's pretty good. It says there's no synthetic fragrance, dyes or optical brighteners, powerful stain fighting, which is very true. And yeah, it comes with these two awesome scents, lavender and rosemary. And then last but not least, of course, you want to make sure your clothes are smelling good. So deodorizing long-lasting freshener. So this is so important when you are washing clothes. It's an incense booster. So I have some right here. I'm just going to go ahead and sprinkle some over. And that's it. And now we're going to get to washing. So I'm going to show you guys the function, how it works, and what you're going to hear, and all of that, and the effectiveness. So guys, this is the washer. So now what we're gonna go ahead and do is close. Well, we're gonna observe the size. So I would say this is right about a medium size. It's not too small, so I would consider this medium. So I'm gonna go ahead and close the lid here because we wanna definitely start washing. We can't wash when it's open. And you can definitely take this little plastic off, guys. I left mine's on because I just wanted to not get scratched or anything. 
but um, let me show you the dimensions of the actual washing machine before we get started. So again, this is a portable washing machine. You can hook it up to a regular, um, you know, connection. If you have a laundry washer connection in your home, you can use it. So that's the beauty of this product. It's not like it's, you know, only for apartments, only for condos, only for studios. You know, you can use this even in your own home and it's very beautiful. So I plan to use this in my vacation home um, shortly when that gets done. So this is how it looks. Um, but one thing I did want to explain to you guys, um, a little dent happened here, literally when they were trying to bring it in. So be careful of that. You know, sometimes you can get a refund or something to that tune. So it's so important to just notice those little things, you know, but this is the size of it. This is how it looks. So I'm all the way back here. I'm standing back so I can show you guys exactly the size of it, how it looks. You know, just what you're expected to receive, you know, so this is it, you know, comes in very professional, very authentic, and it just, it looks amazing. Like it's an actual washer, you know, actual washing machine. So that is the beautiful part about this. Okay, enough of the specs, guys. Let's get into the fun functions of it and start washing these clothes. All right, so of course, we have the clothes in there as I just showed you guys. We know the size we're going to choose. So first things first. We are going to on it, right? We're gonna go in on the product and it's gonna make that little noise, as you can see. So you can basically choose your specs on what you, you know, determine that you're gonna wash. So I've determined I want this to be on a cool temperature. So I'm gonna choose cold. And then I've also determined that I want this to be a normal wash. So just a normal wash, nothing too fancy. Load size, it's definitely a medium because we just looked at it and determined it was that. So after you choose all of your specifications here, as you can see, you can also choose extra rinse if you want to, which I'm not gonna do. Um, and then we have our load size we chose. You can choose to delay and procedure. So. That's what is going to happen. It basically tells you everything you're going to get after you make your selections. So you're going to be getting a wash, a rinse, and a spin. That's all you're going to be getting based on what you selected. So next thing to do is to make sure that you have your faucet running. So right now my faucet is off. I don't have the water turned on. You want to make sure it's on so that can give the machine water to wash your clothes. So that is a common mistake. Please don't forget to on the water. So we are going to turn this to the coat section and on it like that. We're gonna make sure that's on. And then the next thing we are going to do is, you guys know it, start. So that is basically what happens as you guys can see. The water is running. I don't think you guys can see it too well, but let me show you guys. So water just came out of there. It's gonna make that noise when you open it, but you can just wait and it's going to start as it should. So, all right, now we can hit the start button. And that's what's gonna happen. I'm gonna be back to show you guys when it rinses out all the dirt and all of the bacteria into the toilet. So I'm gonna definitely show you guys the draining pause process in the next clip. Based on what it says here is that it is gonna take 15 minutes to wash the clothes. Not 15 hours, guys, so don't get confused by that. It is 15 minutes. Now, when it is gonna be a delay or something like that, which I've never experienced, you will see this light come up here that says delay and then probably an hour or 30 minutes will come up there, but that's not on. So we're just looking at the minutes that it is gonna take to wash our load size. And I'll be back to show you guys the process. All right guys, so this is currently how the washer sounds, as you guys can see. It does consume a lot of energy, which is why you're gonna be seeing kind of like a fading in my light, kind of going like flashing. But yes, that's because it does consume a lot of energy. This is a bigger washing machine, so you know, you just have to be careful with it. But this is basically what it's doing. It's soaking the clothes, it's washing it, you know, left to right, it's spinning. 
and it's doing a fantastic job guys it smells wonderful so yeah that's basically the beauty of it i'm gonna try to open it and see so you guys can basically see what's going on here so this is it that's how it looks i'm gonna close it all right I have to wait for that to end all right so yeah that's basically what it's doing guys all right then guys so now it's extracting all of the dirt and bacteria that we just recently got from the washing uh, machine here so it's getting out all the dirt um as you can see pretty dirty clothes there and it's just wringing that out into the toilet you know this is why i said just put it in the toilet because if you put that in your bathtub you're gonna have to clean all of that bacteria spreads so it's there's no way to just get it right into the drainer you know because it's gonna spread everywhere so the best place for me is definitely the toilet so it's draining out there you can see the water is like dark brown well not dark brown but just kind of like a dirty looking brown so and we have right about 10 more minutes it can basically it also tells you too that it's rinsing so you can see that the next step is to spin so that is currently what's going on here and we'll be back to see the final product. All right, guys, so it is basically complete and done. When it is done, it is gonna turn off automatically just to conserve energy, which is perfect. Another reason why I chose to buy this um, product. So I wanna go ahead and just show you guys, because I know anyone can create a video and say, okay, hey, buy this washing machine. Because before you buy this, I wanna at least ensure that you guys know that this product is effective. This product is going to ensure that my clothes are clean and you know just provides the best you know cleaning for my clothes so what i have here is the basic little bath mat i would say like what you put on the floor next to your shower so that is what i have here i'm going to show it to you guys i wish i would have done it before and after so you guys can see the dirt that was on this thing you know and guys it is literally so clean it's the color that it was supposed to be aside from these little styrofoam things there but yeah sorry guys it is basically white like it used to be just like when i initially purchased this rug and you know i used to when i didn't have a washer when i didn't have a dryer i used to just literally do this the african way and wash it with my hands soap and water it would be the hardest thing to do in my bathtub and then literally go outside and spread that in the sun so now i've moved to just something a little bit more bigger and relaxed i felt that it was just necessary to purchase this washing machine and guys it did not disappoint me at all um as you guys know, I previously had a smaller washing machine. It was a Panda and it didn't effectively take out the stains and, you know, wash my clothes effectively like I wanted to. And guys, this is amazing. It is the best quality ever. I'm not gonna show you guys my other undergarments there, but this is another item I washed. It was a white kitchen towel and I did a lot of cooking I believe last weekend there was oil, there were stains on this, there was so much you could just see on it. So the fact that this was just cleaned to perfection, I am super glad and happy and I really would love if you guys were able to go ahead and purchase your own RCA washer. It's so important. So this is it, this is how it looks, this is how white it is no stains at all so glad i can zoom in for you guys so this is it guys this is it zoomed in and no dirt there used to be dirt like on the around the white areas and it is clean and it is not as wet so it's dry meaning that the spinning option really did a good job in terms of getting all the water out when it was rinsing out so that's perfectly awesome so i'm going to go ahead and disconnect this guys and show you guys just how you do that 
So you would basically just make sure your water's off so you don't get water everywhere. Well, first let's disconnect this, right? So pull that out. And then we want to go ahead and just disconnect this like this. You push this white part down and it comes out. So guys, this is the part that is definitely going to come in the washing machine. You don't have to buy any of these little parts I'm showing you guys. This is part of the package. As well as this little thing here, this is the adapter connector hose. That's how it looks. And you would basically screw that into your sink. Now, not all sinks are going to fit into this. So you may have to go ahead and purchase your own little um, adapter, either a female or male adapter that will enter your own sink. Like, like I told you guys, mine was perfect. It was the right size, so it fit well. And I just hooked this on there like that. I'm going to show you guys how I hook it on. So you just put it on. So basically you just hook it on like this. You have to make sure the white part, you're holding the white part down. You connect it right here as you see it, and then just pull the white part up like that. So you should hear that sound. It's a locking sound that's gonna connect your water all the way here to your washing machine. So that was how I was able to get a laundry day off of my list just by doing this. And guys, it's so important. And that is basically it. Those are all the specs of the actual washing machine. And yeah. Hey guys. So basically I just wanna provide a little disclosure to the RCA washing machine that I just showed you guys. Um, I don't want you guys to just fully run out and go buy the washing machine without doing your own research and basically seeing which one is going to best fit you. You know, if you're in a home, if you're in an apartment, uh, if you're in a condo or townhome, it is suitable for any of those situations. But I just want to make this little disclosure because it is on the pricey side. So because there is more room in that washing, ma washing uh, machine, it's like 2.1 cubic feet, right? So it's a lot of more room, so of course you'll be paying a little bit more. Um, it's not like my Panda like I showed you guys previously in a different video. So that one um, was right about $200. This one here, it's like double the price, and that's after taxes. So it's right about $458. Um, I know it's not the cheapest thing out there, but I just want to point that out for you guys before you guys do buy it. You know, definitely make sure you read the um, washing machine manual. It's so important to know your faucet size and all of that um, before you do go ahead and connect it. You know, some apartments may have different specifications to their sinks and you may not may not work in your bathroom. So you may have to hook that up to your kitchen faucet, which can lead to contamination in a sort of way. I wouldn't want to wash clothes where I wash food and things of that nature. It's just not a good combo. So just definitely, definitely understand it. Read the specifications on the website. I got mine from amazon.com, so I'm gonna leave a link down there for you guys to see it. I'm also gonna show you guys some helpful adapters and you know, female and male adapters for the faucets that can really help if your sink does not um, you know, have the right dimensions for the one that I showed you guys for this machine. Um, I don't want you guys to feel like you wasted money. You can always just buy an adapter and a connector to hook it to your sink to make it work. So I'm going to show you guys how that looks. It's so important when you do go and purchase, you know, a $500 machine, basically, I'm going to go and round it up, yes, um, that you do definitely go and make sure you check the specs of it, check the, everything on Amazon is going to be listed there for you. But like I said, the best benefit of using this washing machine is that you can use it in your house. You can, if you have the washer and dryer hookup, it's compatible with that as well, literally. And um, you can use it in apartments, studios, you know, dorm rooms. If you're just living with someone or sharing bread, you can do that as well. So I just want to kind of point that out there for you guys um, to do that, you know, so that you you definitely don't waste your money out there. And guys, these are the little faucet adapters that I was talking about earlier. You can get these from Amazon. If you look at your sink and you're trying to, you're in the process of assembling your washing machine. And you see that, okay, wow, this connector doesn't fit to my sink. Don't freak out and have a freak out mo moment. Just look at your actual sink um, connector. See what kind of, you know, connector it uses. If it uses a female hose adapter or diverter. Diverter is the word I was trying to use, by the way, sorry. See what diverter you're gonna have to need in order to hook up the actual component to the washing machine because if you don't have the right components like the washer has or your sink doesn't fit, it's just not gonna work out. You're gonna have to go to your kitchen and that is just 
a whole mess shindig so definitely don't get that going but yeah these are really compatible um i used this in my old apartment that i was living in and they really work for that sink because i completely freaked out and was like am i gonna live here with these dirty clothes and literally this was my saving grace because all i had to do was do some research not even call a plumber just look at the actual size and dimension of my um sink hose and all of that and i was able to determine that this was it so it worked perfectly now that i've moved into a new place um i don't need this you know because it's the perfect match for the washing machine but yes guys um definitely read the manual the manual is going to give you all the details about the products and everything that you need to know about it and um yeah it's so important it is a pretty pretty good washing machine very unique very professional i love the way that it just words everything out for you and setup was easy literally the only hardest part about the setup is that i needed to bring it into my restroom and that was the hardest part because i'm not <laughs> that strong to bring it in but that's basically it it's a pretty easy setup you hook it up you do that and it, it really washes your clothes very well just like a regular washing machine would or these high-end washing machines but yeah this is just pretty good it's basically an upgrade from the panda 0 0.9 cubic feet um you know as i just started buying more things i noticed i have a lot more clothes i need more space i need more room and that panda washing machine was not conducive for me so i had to go out and buy this rc washing machine it's really good in terms of taking in all the loads of clothes I have and when I do want to wash and it's just convenient for me and um, it's just more room so it's 2.1 cubic feet I don't have to do multiple loads of washing I can just do a large wash and I know I'm good for the rest of the week so it's so important you do really read the specs of it that's one thing that's going to confuse you if you just look for a portable washing machine you're going to want to definitely narrow that down to the size that you're going to be needing and what's best for you because you don't want to get something that's too small and you have kids and you have all these laundry to do so it's so important you do read it and that is basically the review of this rca washing machine let me know what you guys think down in the comment down below let me know what you think about it have you used the rca washing machine have you used the panda and what what did you like about the panda that you didn't like with the rca machine let me know all those fun facts <laughs>